Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Get Together. So the start of this part is a little bit different because I want to give a shout out to some of you guys. So I have just gone through the hashtag that I gave out for this Let's Play. I haven't been through all of them, I've literally been through the first page. Like look how many Sims are here for one, like that is insane that so many of you got involved. So. Thank you so, so much for that, but I just went on the most popular ones just to quickly check some of them out and kind of get some ideas for this, like storylines that I want to introduce and things like that. This part is probably going to be a little bit of a filler, like we'll probably just like hang out with one of our clubs or something like that. Um, but yeah, I freaking love you guys like honestly seeing the sims that you create definitely add in to my inspiration and what i want to do with those sims and things like that so first off i favorited this guy who is just freaking gorgeous he is made by fairy simmer dk and uh yeah he's called lucifer the devil himself lucifer got tired of hell and all that evilness is going on down there who needs that in your life he beamed up to windenberg now looking for a house lucifer is level 10 in the business career he is flawless i love him so much like he is gorgeous i am kind of in love with him like not gonna lie and although Carly might not have anything serious. I can definitely see Lucifer as being maybe something that she wants to fall in love with because holy hell he is hot. Um, so that was the first one. Then I really like Valentina. I think she is so cute. I don't think that's her first name. Oh yeah, it's Valentina, Valentina Wilhelm. She is stunning and gorgeous and her backstory is incredible like pause here if you want to read her backstory she was made by grace b54 so thank you so much for creating her then the next one was this one who i definitely have a good like plot line for i hope um but like i said i might not have time to do that before this part before we really get into it so um I'm not going to do it in this part, but she will definitely be like a main focus in this Let's Play kind of soon. So thank you, Simo Simone, Simone, I'm guessing your name is Simone, um, but I don't know. Or Simon, it's probably Simon 2002. Um, and then we have him who is gorgeous. He was made by T.D. Davies and he is so cute. I love him. Um, and this guy, who I am actually going to add into the Paragons, probably just before this part, um, before we get really into it, because I love him. He is gorgeous. Look at this beautiful human specimen. So um, he's actually made by the same person as the other one that I just clicked on. Um, this one. Yeah. So he is gorgeous. I freaking love him. He is so, so cute. Meet Andrew, the next member of the Paragons. He likes music. Back in his in his childhood, he had a tough time. His parents weren't rich at all. He wants to give his children a better life. Sorry, guys. I just had to plug in my headphones. But yeah, I love him. He is gorgeous. I love him so much. He is definitely becoming part of the Paragons. We have an extra space and he is going into my game. These guys, I've saved them all. Just, I really just wanted to give a shout out to a couple of you and just, um, just thank you really for getting involved and making so many of those sims. If you do want to create a sim, then you can. Obviously, the hashtag is right here. So in your bio, just like tag them as this and they'll pop up in this little search that I do. But yeah, I am freaking blown away by you guys. Like you guys are so incredible. So what I'm quickly going to do is add in that new paragon and I will be back with you guys in a second. Okay, everyone, I am back and I added in Andrew, who was the sim that I was just talking about. So we'll probably add him into the Paragons today and uh, we'll probably have a Paragon meetup, actually, just because um, we haven't been to that hangout for a while and I kind of want to get a beef with the Renegades going. 
Um, so we do have the Be Mean to Renegades, but the Renegades actually haven't turned up to the same hangout as us. Um, I don't think so anyway, or maybe they have. I can't really remember, but I kind of want them to go to their hangout. We haven't been there in ages, and maybe we can finally like get some riffs going on. Um, I feel like even though Carly isn't a mean-spirited sim in the slightest, she's actually really, really sweet. Um, but I feel as if she'll probably still want to keep up with the Paragon's appearance, and obviously one of their rules is to be mean to the Renegades, so I'm kind of hoping they'll be there. Um, we're going to grab a serving of these pancakes right here. Uh, I'm also going to open this up and throw out whatever is spoil. This one's spoil. Uh, okay, get rid of you. Um, that's good. This is spoil too. Um, they're excellent. We're going to get rid of the cake because don't want my sims getting tubs, do we? And everything else is alright. So, Oh, and you have a, a brewed coffee that's spoiled as well. Um, what is happening? Right, you go in there. There we go. Um, Sasha is still asleep. Oh, we have loads of own mixtapes, which we need to get rid of some of these, to be honest. Um, I only want to... So we actually restarted every time instead of just continuing. I actually want to get rid of some of them, but I don't know if you can. We're going to have her take a thoughtful shower because she can work on some of her mixtapes today. Oh, Johnny is getting a call. Hey, Johnny, we'd love to have you join the Good Timers. What do you think? I don't know why, but I think of the Good Timers as like a really old club. Like I've, I, I think it's because Good Timers is like... It reminds me of old timers, maybe. I don't really know why, but I'm, I'm not that interested. I kind of want Johnny to join Party House, to be honest. Um, so I think that's what we'll do. Oh, also, poor Johnny. I didn't realize that now that he's a personal trainer, he actually has work at like... 9 a.m. or some, 7 a.m. and I was like oh Johnny doesn't have work till like 2 p.m. so he was look at him and his little person what the heck why are you wearing that have you done like some like pulling of trucks or something what the heck even is that this is like his personal training top but yeah he had work at 7 a.m. and I was just like my poor little baby I sent him out to work so early after he had like he had no sleep whatsoever. I'm going to send him to bed for a little bit. His fun's really low as well. Um, so we're just going to let him do that. Carly, can you clean this for me and also mop this up? Let's take out uh, care of the house a little bit. And then we'll invite Mr. Andrew to the Paragons. So we want to add... Um... Why is he not on the list? Where is he? That's not him. Ah, oh, where's Andrew? I want to add him. Gosh darn it, where is he? I don't even know where he is. God darn it. What? Can we add him any other way? I don't know. Can we go through here and add him through here? Um... Let's send him a text and then we'll ask him to hang out at current lot. I don't know if you can... Oh, Johnny! You were so close, dude! <laughs> he was so close to his bed! He's just like passed out on the floor. Oh my goodness, I love this boy so much. He's such a little sweetheart. Oh my goodness. Go to sleep, dude. You were so close to your bed. Oh, I go to sleep. Bless him. Oh, man. Poor little Johnny. Oh, what a little cutie. Right, um... Right, we need to definitely... Can we add him? Is he here? Why is he not on this list? Like, we're acquaintances with him. I don't understand. Right, we'll just uh, invite him to hang out at our current lot and then we'll try and ask him if I think you have to ask him over the phone though I don't think you can ask him like um just like that when he's here I don't know oh 
Oh, Craig really likes Sasha. That's so weird. I bet he's like interested in her. And uh, Sasha's just like, um, sorry to do this to you, but I'm kind of into girls. Orcs. Right, we're gonna go give him a cheerful intro. This is him. I did change his hair up a little bit. And I also gave him some really cool eyes, but he looks super bored right now. So you can't really see his eyes. Um, here we go. This is a little bit better. Um, I, oh, you can't see it because he's squinting. Basically, I downloaded these custom content eyes, which are heterochromia eyes, which is when you have two, either two different eye colors in, for each eye or like a part of your eye is a different color. Um, so yeah, I just found these like whilst I was browsing Tumblr and I thought they really suited him. So I decided to add them. We're going to get to know him a bit and we're also telling inside a story and what else should we do like can we just ask him i don't think we can to be honest he is a perfectionist we're gonna express our admiration to him i need to turn down my sound a bit these sims are like yelling in my eardrums sasha eats pizza all the time i swear <laughs> she eats like nothing but pizza she is literally me oh sasha you are me i love you i love you dude um, okay, so these teams two seem to be getting along really well. Um, can we add him yet? I don't know why we can't add him. I don't know why he's not turning up here. Why is he not showing? I'm so confused. Oh, here he is. There we go. Oh. Why are you going to chat on a computer? Oh, he's added. He's done. He's there. He's in the Paragons. Congrats, Andrew. <laughs> he just joined our club. Right, we're going to start a gathering. We're going to gather at the bath drill or bathe drill, whichever. I think it is the bathe drill, actually. I think I am. Um, said it wrong so yeah we're going to the bathe drill and like i said i do kind of want carly to uh live up to the paragon's potential so i want her to definitely um it's nice having another boy in the paragons you know we only have sergio and it's nice to have someone else although he does need to uh, we're all really ripped oh this guy isn't in the renegades so yeah i do want to get a little bit mean to the renegades of course i do she's gonna go make a mocha and then i think he's actually gonna go work out which is unlike the rest of us oh no a couple of them are gonna go actually work out um sophia's gonna go to the pool and swim a little bit see the renegades aren't here but it is like 4 p.m on a sunday we did come quite late um can you get off our coffee machine what are you doing don't try a new party outfit um why don't you go and swim together go have the group all swim together where's andrew we need to welcome him. okay he's over here so yeah i kind of want to do a good welcome to him um obviously Oh, everyone's come in. Okay, that's cool. I don't know where Luna is. Oh, Luna's already down here. Luna's just running over to the pool now, so that's cool. The renegades aren't here, are they? They're not downstairs. No. Nope. So none of them are actually down here. Um, why don't you build your... I want you to actually build your programming skill. Here we go. Everyone's in the pool. Chilling. You're not in our group. Uh, we're going to go splash Andrew. And we're going to tell a joke about ducks. We're also going to splash Sophia. We haven't spoke to Sophia in ages. So um, I feel like we should probably do that. I do want those two to become really close. I know I've been saying it forever. But I do kind of want them to be like sisters. Um... Oh, also, there was a new uh, patch update yesterday, and I haven't really explored it, to be honest. Apparently, there's, like, a new aspiration. There's a kleptomania trait. I'm trying to remember what, like, the main features of the patch were. It was, like, a throwback patch because it was, obviously, 16th anniversary of The Sims, which is just insane to me. Um, but, yeah, there was... The kleptomania trait was added, which I feel like 
We already have our sims in this Let's Play set up. Like, maybe Sasha could become a klepto. Maybe she could just develop that trait. Uh, maybe switch it for a Lona. I'm not too sure. I haven't really decided. But I do kind of want to explore it because I haven't yet. And obviously, kleptos do earn you money pretty well and stuff because you can steal things. And I'd like to see how it worked in The Sims 4. So maybe we will add that in for Sasha. I don't really know. Um, so we have the klepto trait back, we have um, gardeners back, which is a new NPC, so if your sims don't like gardening, you can just hire a gardener to come and look after your plants. We also have the sad clown painting, which we will explore. We'll explore that in this part of this, because I really, really want to. Um, so yeah, we have the sad clown painting, and everyone's been talking about a grilled cheese aspiration, and I don't really know what it is. Like, I thought it was a wish, but it seems to be an actual aspiration. I'm not too sure. Um, I don't know whether it's a child's one or what. I think it might not be actually. I'm not too sure. I need to go into Create a Sim and check it out because I really don't know anything about it. Um, right, we're gonna ask him a, about his career. We're gonna see what he's like. Oh my goodness. I can see him and Siobhan getting on actually. Uh, I don't think... Um, <laughs> Because obviously she's the only young, other young adult. Like, maybe even Carly could fall for him. Um, but yeah, these guys... So it's now two girls and two guys who are both young adults. Obviously he's not going to make a move on, like, Sophia or Luna because they're both teenagers. Um, but look, they're talking about grilled cheese, thinking about it. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to explore that. Oh, look, the moon's out. You can't really see it. Where is it? It was shining. Oh, there it is. There's the moon. That blob right there. <laughs> but yeah, the moon's shining. What time is it? It's like 7 p.m. We should probably, um, we should probably, like, go home and check out the painting and stuff. This hasn't really been a great, uh, gathering. Basically, I did want the renegades to be here, but they're just not, which is so annoying because I did want to start some beef between them. And I'm also thinking of introducing a new club into the town, which this is going to be their hangout as well. Um... And they're going to try and, like, steal the Paragon's turf. They're going to be pretty much Paragons 2.0, uh, which I can see being very fun because I see all of the Paragons. Right, we're gonna, gonna end this gathering because, like, it hasn't been great. What is she doing? What did she just... What are they doing? Did they just, like, change outfit in the water? I don't know what they just did. Um... But yeah, I, what was I saying? Yeah, there's going to be a new club called... They're not going to be called Paragons 2.0, but that's pretty much what they're going to be. They're going to be in competition with the Paragons, which I think is going to be very, very funny. Because I feel as if the Paragons are very competitive, you know. I th should we invite Paolo around? I kind of want to. We're going to invite Paolo around. You know, Carly can be the one that can have a little bit of fun. Johnny now has Zoe. Um, I asked you guys whether you wanted Sasha and Ulrike and it was kind of split, but I think the majority said no. But that doesn't mean that they have to be like end game. They don't have to be anything serious. Um, but I don't know. I haven't decided on those two just yet. But Paolo is here and I can definitely see him kind of being Carly's type, to be honest. So can you change outfit into your everyday wear? Um, Paolo, are you really going to go pee in a bush? Seriously, we have a perfectly good toilet. Ew, you are disgusting. Oh, Johnny, can you clean this for us, please? And you, missus, are... Oh, we need to uh, make some dinner for everyone. Right, Johnny is the one who knows how to cook in our house. So we're going to make some grilled cheese. We'll make a party size. And, right, I'm going to quickly check out this new aspiration. So let's do this on screen, because I want to check it out. Testing cheats on... And then cas dot full edit mode and modify and create some. We aren't obviously going to change her traits or anything like that, but uh, I just want to see what this new aspiration is, if there is one. Um, 
What? I can't even see what it would be under. Like, I don't know. Maybe it is just a wish. I don't know. I should have probably read the patch notes before uh, <laughs> this part, to be honest. Okay, it's definitely not a new aspiration. Is it a new trait? Oh, Lucas. Uh... It doesn't... Okay, there's Klepto. These sims don't mind borrowing things from others with a simple swipe, but will get tense when they have not swiped anything in a while. Okay, awesome. So that's the new trait. I don't know what everyone's talking about grilled cheese for. What is this grilled cheese thing? What is it? I don't know. I've not even seen anything about grilled cheese. I'm going to quickly Google this and I will be back with you guys in a second because... I do want to update you guys on what has been happening in the Sims 4 universe. Okay guys, so from what I've just read really quickly on Google, I think what you have to do is actually eat grilled cheese like three times or something like that. And uh, then it'll be under the foodie thing. So obviously if you go into like um, Lifetime once and you like, Oi! Chill out, Paolo! Oh my goodness, are you okay though? Gosh, I don't know what's got into him. Right, you're gonna serve some um, grilled cheese then, I guess, because I kind of want to figure this out. Um, so I think it's under food once you've actually eaten like three lots of grilled cheese, which makes sense because obviously you need to be an avid grilled cheese fan to unlock the aspiration. Oi, can you stop though? Right. We're going to try and calm him down because he is being mean. Or we're going to be mean back and Johnny isn't a mean guy. But if you're being mean to Sasha, we will kill you. <laughs> no, we won't do that, but we need to try and chill him out. Oh my goodness, what is happening? Oi, you need to stop. You need to chill out is what you need to do, mate. Paolo. That is what you need to do. Can you chill out? Right, we're going to take a picture together. We're going to try and make him a little bit happier. Why can we not calm him down? I don't understand. Where's the option? We're going to ask him about his day. And we're going to get to know him a little bit more. I want to chill him out. But we don't have the option to do it. Why? Why can't we calm you down? I was going to argue back. You know what? I think we're going to have John Johnny just be like... Dude, you Opinion need to stop. We're gonna um, yell at him a little bit. Like, I don't want to be mean mean. Like, I don't want them to become enemies. Because they're like bros. They're really good friends. But you know what? We're just gonna put him in his place a bit. We're gonna argue with him a little bit. And tell him that he can't treat Sasha that way. Dude. Yell at him. Want? Just do it. Please. He's like, you gotta stop trash talking Sasha, okay? Yeah, mate. That's what I'm talking about, right? Eat that grilled cheese sandwich, and then you are gonna go um, watch the current movie. Oh, Sasha's just over here watching a movie by herself. She's so cute. She's just a little loner who just wants to be by herself. Um, but what we are gonna do is um, have her resume one of those mixtapes. I need to get rid of the rest of them, but I don't really know how to. Okay, just watch whatever. Um, watch sports. You like sports. And what are you doing? Don't grab a milk. Uh, are you hungry? No, not really. Right. Um, let's imitate our boss. What are they joking? What are they laughing about? What do we do? I don't even know. We're going to discuss our interests. We're really good friends with him, actually. I didn't think they were that good friends. I think we should try and get a little bit flirty. This isn't... Paolo, I honestly can't be in anything so serious anyway. Um, so we're just going to like compliment his appearance. We're just, you know, Carly's young and single and wants to have a little bit of fun. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to flirt with him a little bit. And they already had a, um, a romance bar. Why was that so high? And then it, oh, was I on Johnny? Probably. Uh, um, we're going to ask him if he's single. And we'll also compliment his appearance once again. Johnny's just sat up here watching a film, which is cool. And Paolo is single, which is a good time for us. Hell yes. 
Right, let's get a little bit. We're gonna exchange numbers with him, and we're gonna flirt with him again and um, blow him a little bit of a kiss. He's a hot guy, you know. He's attractive. I like him. I love this hair, though. I think, honestly, this hair that came with Get Together could make any sim look attractive. Because it's just that kind of style. Um, let's try and give him a bold pickup line. We're feeling pretty confident, so... Oh, no, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Johnny's like, whoa, I smell something bad. <laughs> Oh man, can we do like a uh, smooth recovery? Do a smooth recovery. Go for it, girl. Claw it back. Get in there. There we go. Show off your muscles. She barely has muscles. Who are you trying to kid, Carly? Who are you trying to kid? Alright, let's flirt with him again. Let's see if we can do that. He's feeling embarrassed though, so it might not go so well. And we're feeling embarrassed. Okay, this is gonna go dreadfully. This is gonna be like a car crash. Nope, nope, no, nope. right, stop, stop, stop. He's clearly just in a bad mood. Oh, you need to fill out reports. <gasps> I completely forgot that she needed to do that. And she's in work like super early tomorrow morning. She's at work at 9 a.m. And Johnny's in at 7. Oh my goodness. I keep forgetting that he works so early. Um but Sasha's just just doing her thing, making her beats as she does, being a loner in her attic room. <laughs> She's so sweet. I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. Bye. D-bag. Actual definition of D-bag right there. He kicked over our bin. The little shite. Can't believe he did that. Right, I'm just gonna have Carly fill out her reports. I think I'm gonna end this part here, guys. I did actually want to try and like have a closet. We look at her little face. She's so cute. I was gonna try and have like um a wardrobe woohoo with Paolo, but clearly he wasn't in the mood tonight. He wasn't playing ball for me. So we're just going to leave this part here. Not too much happened, but we did get a new Paragon. And I promise before the next part, we will definitely get some rivalries going on. I'll play a little bit off screen now that everyone is pretty much back to work. Um, a lot of you also want me to invite Zoe to the Powerhouse Club, which will definitely happen. He has Tuesday off, so... um. Maybe him and Zoe can go on like a cute little gym date together, uh, which would be adorable because those two are really into fitness and I think that could be fun. So we will have to wait and see. But thank you guys so much for watching this part. I hope you all enjoyed anyway. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up and do leave all of your comments and suggestions. I'd love to hear what you guys want to see from this Let's Play. Honestly, I love these Sims so much and the characters and you guys really seem to like them as well. Like, they all have their individual traits and it makes it really interesting to see how you guys want it to play out. So do leave your feedback down below. I promise I will try and read as many and reply to as many as I can and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye guys!